I didn't think it'd be this hard To go and try to let you down At first for sure we saw forever and the distance But the path of least resistance is the one where I don't see you anymore Hello, what's up peeps? Welcome to the vlog This week is hectic Hectic with a capital C-H-K, okay? Yeah, there's a K. The main agendas for this week are math exam on Tuesday. Nothing big on Wednesday. On Friday, I have a project due, like 5,000 words that I need to not start. I've started. I know I have at least the data. I need to analyze it and then write up the discussion post or whatever. I've just remembered this probably a discussion post I need to reply to. And I still have my classes this week. Hopefully, my classes end either this week or early next week, which is why I wanted to vlog at this time to do like a last week of Zoom. I need to go for a group meeting. I have no idea what we're discussing. And so... I don't need you to take me home. And though for sure the bed is warmer by your side. Oh, please believe me, babe, I've tried. You're not the one I thought that you were gonna be. I got you singing, ooh, I got the blues. I got you singing, ooh, I don't know what to do without you, baby. Ooh. Good morning. Said I'm vlogging, so be quiet. Welcome back. It's Tuesday morning. Well, I shouldn't say morning. It's maybe like midday, 11. I don't know. Um, I just tried to make breakfast brunch. I tried to make samosas. It was what we call a disaster um, <laughs> They're black But it's okay As long as I have my coffee. This is my second coffee of the day. So, you know, it's a good day when you've drunk two coffees before midday she said stand she said inventions okay <laughs> she said stupidity because there's a whole damn red lights <laughs> i'm filming outside um it's like 20 minutes to five i want to do my exam at five um we have like the exam for 24 hours but i want to do mine at five wow chickens because i have a class at seven and the exam will take 90 minutes so i want to give myself enough time to finish and also i haven't done the readings for the class so i need like 10 minutes to skim the readings i'm just eating a fruit salad you know trying to get those okay it looks ghetto but it's tamu with some tangerines and mangoes and bananas i'm feeling a bit unprepared i'm not as prepared as i usually am for an exam i hate feeling unprepared so i'm feeling a bit like um overwhelmed i'm not scared because i know i know i know everything i need to know i just don't know if i know it enough does that make sense anyway i came outside to look at the sky listen to the chickens crowing look at the flowers and enjoy my fruit salad and some fresh air before i have to go inside take my exam go to class 7 to 8 30 and then work on my psych project that's due on Friday. That's scaring me. Okay, let me show you guys how pretty it is outside today. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, once again, just to like open up some space, if people want to say anything about this, I want to start a lot of things that they want to do. I'm not sure I'm even shining, but I still care for you. Take me to the sea. Days when the last train's closing, I'm not your silver lining. Baby, there's some things. saying this but it's many hours later like many hours i did my math exam and i was hyped that i finished it was the exam good no not particularly i think this is the worst exam i've done in this class so it was the fourth one and there's one question that i fully bullshitted everything so that's on that anyway i'm happy to be done and then i took a like hey what I took like a two hour break where I was just reading through my Instagram DMs. I haven't been keeping up with them in the past couple of weeks. And I always like to make sure I reply to literally all of them. So when they pile up, it takes a while. And then I had a psych assignment due at one. So I've typed that up and submitted it. Who is messaging me? um type that up i'm doing harvard today so i need to do my parts of the thing actually i was just like writing the part that's real world news and i've just seen george floyd's murderer has been convicted guilty on all three accounts which i think it's a really good step in the right direction for the u.s because god knows they need i swear to god if he had gone free i would have screamed i would have screamed but yeah um at least we have some good news um in the real world anyway it's 1 50 p.m okay and i need to go to sleep i think that's everything i'm supposed to do today this week is stressing me to fur out tomorrow i have two classes no three classes two meetings and i still have to do my psych project so i want to actually get up early do all my work and yeah you know vibes anyway school zero out of ten definitely do not recommend see you guys tomorrow good morning it's wednesday morning i woke up early i got some house chores done i'm feeling good for today my main agenda honestly is my psych paper that's due on saturday so i need to write like five thousand words i think mm, by saturday i haven't actually started writing but i know what i'm writing about i have at least some of my data i need to continue doing analysis um it's for my social psychology class and i'm doing a study on like political performativity like political activism and how like the social media aspect of it nowadays affects voter turnout especially in youth what i want to understand is does that actually mean engaging online translates to voter turnout when it's time to actually vote for those things in kenya specifically think about like bbi the way people posted about bbi did they actually do anything about it offline so um i need to read more literature on the topic which is what's taking a while because these goddamn papers are like 20 pages and these people write as if english is what they were speaking in the uterus i don't understand why people need to make academic papers so convoluted and hard to understand so I have my tea. I sound like I have a cold. It's because today is a bit cold and something has irritated my allergies. So I'm like sounding like I have a cold. I have my tea. I have my water. Um, I'll make breakfast soon. After I finish reading this paper specifically. And then we can... I'm going to sit here for the next six hours, literally. 
and grind out my work. I made a very intriguing discovery. I have a class in one hour, 30 minutes. But I've already done the readings, okay? She said on top of her business, she said, It's a seminar on African popular culture. It's actually been really interesting. Um, The only downsides are, there are only like four people in this class. So you have to turn on your camera. It's two hours long. And you have to do the work because if there are four people the professor literally will call you out and the readings are kind of long and you may just skim them so i have one and a half hours to kill yep. at the comforter yeah comforter is so spaced out it I looks know. weird it looks like someone wrote yeah exactly. no, no no the best point is georgia and you can fight me okay. 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 Which one? Hel i don't i don't, I don't know either. I can't do it. A, B, C, D. Me, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the last class of this class of the semester, and I'm kind of sad. I'm kind of sad because I actually kind of like this class. We almost done. Hey, we almost done. Renegade. Enjoy without video. No, it's not the last class. It's the second last one. Anyway, um, I'm going to pay attention now. I'm turn on my camera because I have to. Thank you. Bye. Class is done. Yay. It's dark out. That was a very interesting class. We studied matatus and dankos and daladalas. Understanding transport in the African cities. Very interesting for me, especially because, you know, I take matatus and stuff. I will. Uh, why am I yawning? And I have like five more meetings to go to. Like my day is just getting started. Okay. The sun has set, but my day is just getting started. Anyway, um, I'm going to clean the kitchen and then do my math assignment before my class at 8.30 because I need to do the assignment to understand what we're doing in class. Then at 8.30, we go for class. Um, I do believe I have a psychology lecture to watch. Uh, I haven't watched the lecture for this week. I need to do that. Otherwise, they will pile up. I think I have like three unwatched lectures, which is a lot. And I don't want them to pile up. But it's currently 6.42. So I want to be done in the kitchen by 7.30. Do my homework till 8. And then we'll see. So, um, so the, the color is not the same everywhere and you consider the points where the color is counterclockwise along, like along that axis of, um, rotation. Okay. Yeah.
just finished my math class um at least i understood something okay i i learned something and that's that's good for me um looking at my calendar um what i have left for today is to write harvard today i'm going for a visitor session at 10 50. Please listen to my family in the background. Um, yeah, have a today visitors and then continue working on my psych project. I'm so tired. I need to break myself a coffee. Yeah, let's do that. And eat more chips. We secured the bag. Mm -hmm. The bag of chips. <laughs> mm, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Even the fork is not working. No. <laughs> What's up? It's midnight. Um I just left a visitor session for Spark. As you can see, I changed my shirt. Wrapping the match. I'm so sleepy, but I have work to do. Mm. I need to figure out how to count tweets in a hashtag for my psych project, which is freaking me out because I think I'll have to sign up for a service. I need to look for one that has like a seven-day subscription free then use that and then cancel the subscription after i've used it to count my data also exciting news someone like noticed me in the session and they were like ha ha ha, ha. they were like omg i think i've watched your youtube videos and i was like ha 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 thanks <laughs> i was so good i'm so sad for that person i wish i can i wish i got their like contact so i can be like oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so awkward i didn't know what to say you put me on the spot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm so shy <laughs> anyway um you guys always make me so happy i i, I just like how excited they are the the incoming first years the incoming freshmen i think if i was also an incoming first year and i was going on campus i would be as excited as they were just i'm so jaded right now <laughs> i'm just like second year yay like i i'm not excited for school anymore which is sad i also think it's because it's the end of the freaking semester april has been so long april is going so slowly i just need i need this month to end i can't wait for summer break just chilling you know just vibes i don't i don't i don't need math for the summer okay i've not even watched the new episodes of the circle this school thing zero out of ten don't recommend this school thing and i kind of want to put up an instagram story telling people who are telling international students who are coming to harvard who like follow me to apply to spark because you get a 1500 dollar stipend for 100 hours of work so you get paid 15 dollars per hour and personally me i don't know any job in nairobi which at age 18 i could have been paid 1500 shillings per hour so that's what i want to do um i just keep hydrating okay hydrate take a sip of your water i'll see you guys tomorrow morning bye that was that was a cool transition that was cool let's do it again Good morning. I should say actually good afternoon because it's 12.30. I'm currently on my second cup of coffee. Um, You know the vibes. I really should get better angles than this. Anyway, um, exciting news. I have to count thousands of tweets by hand. Don't understand why Twitter doesn't have this metric. I need to count the number of tweets in a hashtag 
for my psychology project and I cannot find a third party website that will do specifically what I want it to do unless I pay some ridiculous fee like $200. So, you know, I'm just going to count them by hand and then I'll put in my limitations. <laughs> the data was calculated by hand because I don't have funding and I'm not about to pay $200 for a website. Anyway, as per the usual, I've had an exciting morning of sitting at my desk and doing homework. What's new? Yes, everything. Um, by appearing in this clip, you have licensed me to use your likeness and images in my YouTube videos. <laughs> she has nails. You see what I was telling you is that. You know, as it is, that's I'm so bad. This is how I end up making my 20 minute break one hour. <laughs> what you doing? Just chilling. Chilling, relaxing, relaxing. Chilling like a villain. Or that you would take somebody who merely ran into some bushes and send them to prison for years. That idea has been explored in the literature on moral philosophy for several decades, and it gets called moral luck. The idea being that our moral judgments, in this case a judgment of how much punishment somebody deserves, can end up depending on luck. Lexi, 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 don't come out. Lexi, bye, bye babies. <laughs> Y'all so cute. Aww. <laughs> She's like, please, just oh let God. me go. <laughs> She's like, what you doing? She's just like, please, let me go. Hey! Tail. She's ah, like rub my stomach. I want stomach rubs. Oh, you, oh, she enjoys your nails. She's just like, hello, hello, dinner. Priorities change, but people never do. 